All right, everybody, we're live again. Pace Studio, Atlanta, Georgia. It's been a while, uh, but not so long as our last stream since we did one with Dark Water this morning. And Christian and Andrew, thank you for doing that. And now for doing this, we're here with Billy Pilgrim, and we're super stoked. You guys have a record coming out tomorrow. We do. I, I, I just love that sentence. Just yes. say I know. it again. I have a record coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Happy. Uh, <laughs> congratulations uh, to you in advance on that. Um, and it, it, there's a lot of stuff happening tomorrow. I'll let you kind of give us the Sure, lowdown. sure. So uh, tomorrow, besides being, you know, the please let me go on Labor Day weekend, like we're going to convince ourselves we're going to stop working because we've been working at home now. We can't tell the difference between working and not working. <laughs> um, but uh, we, Andrew and I, finally get to release um, an album that we made quite a while back that uh, interestingly is called In the Time Machine. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, we finally get to, to have audiences hear this kind of big idea we had a while back, Liter literally like the year before Sugarland started. And, um, and Andrew and I are now starting to play again. We just uh, been in the studio all week. And we're going to also celebrate tomorrow's release with a, uh, a benefit live stream from Eddie's Attic. Mm -hmm. In support of uh, NEVA, the National Independent Venue Association, yes, right? That's right. Right. Uh, Save Our Stages is the, the sort of forward-facing thing you've probably heard that's connected. Um, and it's obviously a worthy cause since there's a lot of question marks in our current time machine. But... Mm. <laughs> so to speak. Mm -hmm. Well said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, we're immensely grateful that you guys are here and that we're able to even do this kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, what are we going to hear up first? And uh, we're just going to kind of play this by ear as if you're feeling it, just we'll keep doing it. We'll do as much music as we can take uh, today. And I'd love to know what's up first. Sure. Uh, this song um, was really early for mm -hmm. us. Pretty early back, and it yep. has developed over time. You know, these these songs, um, they live and breathe. So whatever they were when we started, it is now something completely different. Mm -hmm. But um, I originally wrote this about my dad uh, driving to work and back, and uh, it has weirdly become about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's called wow. Halfway Home. cheek flat on my chest I'm warm driving with all the citizens halfway to work halfway home and the radio says there's been a terrible accident somewhere up by the waterways I do more driving before 8 o'clock Tick turned off the road 
old aces long before the bridge Sun just sit away Let the whiskey do the edge But the work is honest The customer's human Don't guess I could ask for more Kids are in college, my mom, she's buying every single dress in the store. Me, halfway to work, halfway home. And me, halfway to work, halfway home. Me, I just walk in my Me, I'll just smile at all the people I pay. And me, I'll just stay in my head. I'll just stay in my head. And me, I'll just sleep in my own bed. Just sleep in my bed. Sounds yeah. beautiful. You guys doing okay, uh, hearing everything all right on your end? And, oh, yeah. Sounds all right. great. All right. We're going to have Benji and Brandon come up and play with us. Hey, there they are. Look at that. This is the, uh, the day of, of walk-ons. We didn't break the internet this time. <laughs> Andrew's already here. Oh, that's, yeah, that's right. Maybe it's that there are too many Andrews. <sighs> nice. Yeah, it feels good. It does feel good. Yeah, I was literally like, wait a minute, what's going on? Oh, yeah, this thing that we're doing. Um, <laughs> live music can do that to you. Live brain. music, yeah, it can. And it's one of the reasons we were wanted to do this for Neva is, you know, you forget. And, and we, being here at Pace is, you know, it's a great, great way to start this conversation, which is, you know, m music, bef sometimes before you hear about it, you hear about it from somebody you know. You know, like one of your friends says, man, you got to hear this new band or this new artist or this new... I have to taste this new beer, whatever it is. But it, it happens between people. It doesn't really happen on your phone. Right. You know, and, and in a lot of ways, Andrew and I have a lot of uh, grateful thanks to the clubs that, that allowed us to walk into them with a couple of guitars and play for years. And that's how you found out about us mm -hmm. or, in, or, or any of the people that, that were even before us. Mm -hmm. And so that, that discovery, like people say all the time that, um, who was it that we had a manager once that was like, man, I, I don't, I don't sell Billy Pilgrim. I sell the discovery of Billy Pilgrim. I was like, you know, as weird as he was, he was, <laughs> he wasn't wrong, yeah. you know, because we get so excited when you find something out and from somebody, you know, and with, if these clubs go away, I, I don't know what will happen. You know, I don't know how I will find those people, the, yeah. the, those new artists, those, those new voices, those new phrases, those new writers. And um, so, it's, yeah, it's such a double whammy, too, because right now it's, there's so much stress in the culture and live music through venues is really one of the last universal churches of the country where everybody gets together regardless what it's right. and to heal. Right. To go out and you don't recognize it. it's a church. Eddie's is a church. Totally. So, yeah. So with it gone, how much more stressful is 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 this whole experience? Yeah. Yeah, and, and the tragedy will be if this whole experience bottoms it out. Right. So it's up to everybody to keep the things that we need as a as a healing element in our culture to to be there. We need it right now. Yeah, right. definitely. I mean, you know, uh, back before you could stream something in advance or whatever. Like, obviously, music is is, is the original form for it was to be heard 
live. Uh, you know, that's how people got together at the social form of the whole thing. Yeah, it's hugely compromised right now. We're doing our best. But yes, please um, follow all the links and stuff. Please donate uh, some money to Neva if you are able to financially. Uh, it's just it's something we're all going to be really grateful for, I think, on the way back out of this mess. So um, well put, you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, along for that day. There's something else cool. Uh, speaking of Eddie's, though, there's a live video. Yeah, there's a live stream tomorrow from Eddie's Attic to celebrate the release of uh, our new record in the Time Machine. And uh, this is actually, it, it, it's at 8 o'clock. And we're sharing the stream over all sorts of different clubs around the country. Um, you know, and, and, and other people who really support all this. Um, and know that when, when you do tune in and if you do feel like you have some money to give, um, it, it can go to the clubs in your own town. It's not going to just Eddie's, you know? Right. Uh, this is an organization of, of clubs that need real help. These are independent venues. These are just like, uh, the, you know, there's, it's not the big box anything. Right. These people own these places. And um, It's also, I mean, as a, sound, as a front of house sound engineer for like 20 years, it's like where I cut my teeth. It's as important to me, like congregationally, as it is like, it's my job, right. you know, in a lot of ways. And yeah, it's, it's just so vital. So... Uh, while we're adapting our way through this era, um, just, yeah, let's, let's rally on that and, and, and everything else that needs rallying as well. But, um, what are we going to hear up next, you guys? And then we'll get another. This is open all night. This is the, uh, first track on Time Machine. Cool. <laughs> Walking away seems like the only way out How many times should we go around? Like a record player playing Like time singing and into the darkness ringing storms flash out in the space lightning throwing lines all over your face they're changing all at once and as they're changing back Again, you're laughing, you're crying. And all the while, the storm's been rising. Oh, you wanna be with me, baby? Why are you saying goodbye? Yeah. 
angels when I need them most Shot through the heart with a lethal dose of every day Of every day Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. So after tomorrow, yeah. the live stream at Eddie's, the record, what, uh, what is normally I would ask the question, where are you <laughs> heading to promote this record? Where is the next show? <laughs> what are you looking forward to? But what does that look like in our, in our makeshift reality right now? That's a good question. Yeah, that is. Um, you know, the, I try to look at things as, as always good. You just got to look a little harder, right? And uh, the, Andrew and I get to put out this record during this, right? Might not have happened if I'd have been like upside down on a Sugar Land bus, you know, right. like working, working, working. So promoting this is going to be interesting at the very least. <laughs> you know, uh, we're open to all suggestions, but mostly it's about people hearing it and going, Oh my gosh, I have enough time to listen to a whole record, right? I've found myself having a more time to, to really commit to listening to this stuff. Because, yeah, like when, you're, when we're doing two or three of these a day, five days a week, churn and burn, churn and burn, churn and burn, like it is harder to like connect with the people, but also the music. And yeah, it's been nice in some ways. That's, that's a good silver lining to all that. This is a little bit more time to kind of dig in to that which you're interested in, even if it's sourdough bread. I think it's as I think it's what I hear more than anything else from people, really, that they're oddly 2020 is a transformative year because of the stop, the reappraisal. And that's not just personally in your own lives, but culturally mm -hmm. like, whoa, well, I think it's no surprise that this stuff is everything else is cleaving up at the same time. Right. I, I just think it's a natural. This is like there's a space in it. There's there's got to be healing at the end of it, because what's the. What's the alternative? Right. There, there truly right. is, is, is nowhere to go but up at this point. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I think a lot of people, it's, it's been a very exposed year. The weaknesses in, in structure, the weaknesses in sort of organizations, uh, ways of life, ways of thinking, our health system, the, all that stuff is like, there is no uh, smoke and mirrors. They have all dissipated in this, I think, and and, f and <laughs> that's great. And even on a super individual level, like we, I think a lot of people have probably said something similar that they were saying to you. Is to me, it's just like I've had a lot of time to reconnect and, right. and kind of reevaluate what is true to myself and what that means and mm -hmm. how it impacts other people and all of that. Yeah. So, yeah. well said. Yeah, yeah. It, likewise, um, yeah. Well, here we are, trying to do what we can to change some stuff right now. What are we going to hear up next? Yeah, we're just going to keep you company for a little while. This is a song that um, has had many alive. Uh, it's uh, called Insomniac. It's the name of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you, don't even know you falling into the sheets at night. 
place my hand flat on my chest feel the heart beat back the night i try counting sheep talk to the shepherd and played with my pillow forever and ever i sit alone and i watch the clock i breathe in Sleep 
yeah. <laughs> that was great, man. That was a lot of fun, you guys. A lot of uh, immensely positive commentary happening on the internet. Um, Nick, you got called out for adding a song ago to a mixtape in 1994. Um, <laughs> in, a, in another time machine, right? right. Um, there's just so many people loving, uh, lots of props, people loving the tracks. Um, obviously, your your legacy is intact, and it's so nice to have you guys back together and here Aww. in this place, and man. Um, <laughs> it's a joy. It is a joy. Um, I'm supposed to ask Billy if you have any other live streams set up. <laughs> Billy, if we have any other live streams set up. Yes, we do, as a matter of fact, tomorrow at 8 o'clock Eastern. Nice. If you'll go out and you will subscribe, if you're not, you're subscribed to Pace probably because you're you're staring at this. But go out and find the Billy Pilgrim YouTube page, our Facebook page. We cross posted, so they could be on. Cross posted, yours. Yeah. it could be here. Um, also, the way that I'm doing my world right now is it's it's it belongs to everyone. So, it belongs to Dark Water. It belongs to me as a solo artist. It belong. We all are in the same place. You want to find Andrew? You can come through me. You want to find Benji? You can come this way. Any way you want to do it. The, you know, we do branding so that we can figure out which song goes in which bucket. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably as much uh, the feel of the song itself as, as it is, you know, like it who, is. who's and responsible it's, it's for it. It's the collaboration, like, like um, I, I'm so interested in what happens when you put two things together, no matter what they are. Yeah. It's going to be fun when we can talk about what we're planning. Uh, oh, man. Oh, I, know, I, know, I, I, know, I think I, that was really... We can. I know. You're not supposed to say I don't care. I'm not <laughs> I, think, I think people are essentially asking that. Maybe. They're like, oh, what are you talking about? Yeah, we're like, we're acoustic guys that are actually in a punk band that yeah. played songs with melodies. Well, and that energy is... Uh, <laughs> even Regina Holtz uh, dropping a comment uh, how they've missed that energy, and I think that energy, is well put, is kind of a combo of... Uh, sort of a folk singer songwriter element, and I can tell you guys are old punk, so am I. This is awesome. <laughs> um, so, Sporting which is Chucks probably why today. this is so fun. I was gonna say those are the coolest are these Chucks. Cool new Chucks. Uh, they're on camera right now. Yeah, they're so fly. Right. Yeah, they're baby. very fresh. That's right. Um, stay alive, pride. Yeah, stay alive, and we're gonna stay alive here as well with more music. What are we gonna hear next? This is a request. <laughs> this is a request. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Am I in there? <laughs> Out here. Knock it. Out of commission? There I am. Beautiful. Thank you. Looking out. From a hotel room all alone on a Memphis afternoon Waiting for the storm to pass When I clear a path and you can kiss my ass goodbye
streets Sweeping them young girls right off their feet They got those love tattoos Across their heart they've been pledging their vows at the Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. Pace. Oh, my gosh. You guys, so good. Uh, so many people continuing to uh, just blast in on the internet. Um, let's see. I, Andrew, your voice is literally God. <laughs> Which I think literally may be used not literally in that context. Um, I love oh, it. shoot. We got a GIF based comment. Um, someone asked. Uh, for a reminder of how best to support you all. Um, and also, Derek Webb asks, if you still need, a, if there's any chance that you still need a guitar tech, I'll quit all my jobs. You know, so, I, I've really felt, felt for our guitar techs through the years. Yeah. As you can tell, like, we were, we were really rough guitar on them. Abuse. Is that what, okay. A, a guitar is like a, a transportation device for us more than an, it is an instrument. So is that <laughs> it the, gets us from here to there. What's the John Hyatt song? <laughs> Don't do that to that perfectly oh, good yeah, guitar. Oh yeah, that perfectly yeah. good guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, but back to the original question. Uh, so Derek, best of luck on your quest. Um, I, uh, I'm, I, I hope that all works out, but uh, wh how is it best to support y'all right now? Obviously, the stuff we've already talked about. Let's get a reminder on what's happening. Right yeah, now. I think I think first thing you should do because um, you you should go to Neva and you should support Neva and Very you should support specific. a lot of these right. um, these venues that 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 really gave us our shot. We wouldn't have been here without that, and so many other bands. And it, this is just a moment to say, how do we value that in our culture? We need it. Right. Yeah. So reach out there first. I, I would say that. And then yeah. I would say uh, Billy Pilgrim happened before the Internet. So, um, you know, you could go find us somewhere and follow it or subscribe to it. I know that we, we never said that because we weren't really here. Right. But, yeah, um, go do that. Bandcamp's going to have a bunch of our music. Right. Um, and they'll they'll be like on and off again. Uh, Killing their like their revenue cut and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, and, and I cool think stuff. tomorrow is one of those days cool. where you yeah. can buy from there, and they don't they don't take anything, and they're um, mm. they're they're a part of of kind of the bigger whole. Also, uh, I guess it'd be fun to just say it now. Anyway, so tomorrow you're not just getting in the time machine. Andrew and I are going to dump our entire catalog tomorrow. Right. So if you so ever were a fan of like numbers, we have. Any record yep. that we had done that, that wasn't on Atlantic, it, it's about to show up. Right. And awesome. Out of grateful thanks to people who waited this long. Right. Uh, <laughs> many of them are watching right now. Um, That's great. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, and I think this will continue to grow. So in the YouTube comment, in the, in the description for the YouTube video uh, and in the Facebook, it says there's a Neva link. Um, I'm sure others will drop same, the same links. 
You can go to either Paste Magazine and look for these streams, go to Billy Pilgrim or the Dark Water page or the Neva page or the Yeah, you can go to Christian page. Bush. You can go to MySpace, yeah. My World. Did you say MySpace? No, I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're so old. <laughs> I Yeah, well, I, I had a MySpace. I, I had a makeoutclub.com, which was pre-MySpace. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I I still have a MindSpring address somewhere. Oh, man. Well, you know, get, way to go, Atlanta. <laughs> I was. I think I had Angel Fire or Earthlink. I can't remember. Yeah, which, yeah, but, exactly. Uh, speaking of time machines, well, I'm glad that uh, all that stuff's going to hit. Thanks for dropping the surprise news. Um, you heard it here first, folks. Can't wait for that. Um, where are we at in this uh, in this endeavor right now? Uh, I would say that we're uh, probably going to say our goodbyes, but we probably uh, shouldn't without acknowledging these two men over here to our left. Agreed. Um, uh, Nick and Josh, uh, you know, without you guys, Billy Pilgrim wouldn't be what Billy Pilgrim is. You guys have been supporters for for many years. Mm -hmm. We watched you build this, right? <laughs> and it's yeah. amazing and and in turn you watched us build this right you know and uh, there's something really really cool about two people with a big idea well, I, we are here to testify that's right that's right <laughs> well said and yeah, may it may it keep going and anybody watching if you ever thought that maybe you got a a friend you you used to to be around or make things with you hadn't in a while you should do that now Reach out good time <laughs> to do it yeah, uh, with with all of that sort of reconnecting to yourself, it's reconnecting to other people as well. And for those who, who there's no camera shot on on Nick and, and Josh, uh, who started Paste Magazine uh, back in a, another time. I will not let's see. 2002, I believe, was our first uh, real entrance into the world as Paste. So uh, it's been a long time, and we're going to keep doing what we do. Please uh, support everything we've talked about today. Um, and uh, keep checking out Pace for More. We're not sure what's next, but we will. We're not gone. So yeah, find us tomorrow online somewhere. Yes, we're, definitely. We're playing at eight o'clock. Yep. It should be all over the place. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here today. This has been just a total treat. Thanks, guys. Thank you.